Alright guys, so we are on our way to the hangar. I got this text message just a minute ago. I'll throw it up on screen here. But the prop bolts are finally here and we can finally mount the prop onto the gyro. So all we've got left after mounting the props is just wiring up the water temp sensor on the top of the block of the 582. And the one that we had in there, we had previously, in a couple videos ago, you probably saw me talking about it or maybe I mentioned it, but we had one in already, but I don't know if I broke it trying to wire it up or it's faulty, but whenever you wire it up, it says it's negative 382 degrees Fahrenheit. But we finally have the bolts. Now we can't do the break in yet until we get the water temperature sensor because we don't want to risk overheating the motor. Especially since it's a brand new motor, you got to do the break in period. And knowing the temperatures that you're actually operating the engine under during those conditions during the break in is very critical. So hopefully today we'll at least crank the motor and get it started so we can get a first little listen to the motor. But that'll be about it until we can do the water temperature sensor and then we can do the actual full run up and maybe start taxiing this thing. We're almost there, so I'll pick the camera up when I get there. So here we are back at the hangar. I know it's been a little bit since you guys have seen the gyro, but here is the current progress of it right now. Everything all looks super good. Here's the panel. All looks real great. Everything looks really good. We got all the exhaust clamps on. Um, I don't really know what the last thing I filmed was. I know there's probably gonna be a big gap in the filming. Uh, whenever we were building this we were kind of waiting on some parts and stuff to come in and and it didn't really line up with like my work schedule and stuff but Dennis did come and help us really get a really good start on this gyro actually well kind of finish it up the way it is right now especially with the wiring of the pod and some of the other stuff wiring of the engine and stuff like that but like what I was talking about in the truck here's that water temperature sensor and I don't know exactly what is going on with it um, but when you turn it on and check it on the pod, it shows that it's like like negative 360 something degrees or something. It's the max low it'll go. So that's what we were checking out whenever we were looking at that. So once we get that fixed, the prop should be going on today. We've got the we got the hub for it right there, and we've got the the three blades for it right here. Now we did go with the Duke or duck prop I, I we call it duke but we went with the duke flash 2 three blade prop for this machine so we've got one we've run dukes on the the auto gyro here for forever and so my grandpa was definitely adamant on putting a duck prop on the new machine i always love coming here and checking what he's got new so i just <laughs> my grandpa does not drink but i just happen to look here and there's just a Corona non-alcoholic sitting right in the middle of the tool, tool thing. So I don't really know what he's got planned for that, but <laughs> I'll ask him when he gets here. And here I'm guessing is what we've been waiting on. The new uh, prop bolts that will go through this hub and mount them up right there. I think that's what we've been waiting on right there. I'm pretty sure these are the new ones. These don't look like the ones we had before. So... Um, we, I think we're the first people to put a duck prop or a duke prop on a uh, gyrotechnic. So, you know, the bolts that were supplied by Dennis, they obviously didn't fit because they were for uh, one of the other props that he normally uses on these machines. But my grandpa should be here in a second. So whenever he gets here, one, he hasn't seen the new camera set up. So I hope it looks good to you guys. So I'm going to get his reaction with that. And uh, then we'll, I guess, start to uh, put this prop on and hopefully... I'm hoping we can actually get a first crank up for even if it's just for a second. I just want to hear this baby purr just a little bit. Awkward.
Some chalk bricks that rope, well, yeah, we're in no, trouble. Go we got a lot of big. I wouldn't worry about the brakes, but. Yeah. And if it revs up really high, kill it. Yeah. Okay. In fact, I'd, I'd let it run just well, run, shut it off. Even the first start? Yeah. Alright. You, you pump it already? You that, was, it? that was at me. That was the, that was the fuel pump. Could you push prime it? Like this? No, 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 that won't do any good. Oh, oh. Now, under your seat. I can, yeah, there it is. There we go, okay. Right. Alright. Mags are on. Clear!
All right, guys, so as you just saw, we have the first running tests of the gyro. It feels so good to actually hear the motor start on this thing after so long of working on it and putting it together. And now that I've actually heard it, I really can't wait to taxi it around and start flying it. But those things will come in due time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you are new around here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully in the next video, we're taxiing around. Thanks for joining me on this crazy adventure. We'll catch you guys in the next one. See you.